during the autumn winter it's time people get sick you know um but you know my belief system is, is a little different you know i think viruses exist and we can have it undermine our health but we also have the ability to protect ourselves i mean we're exposed to viruses all the time if we believe that what we think about is important to what we experience and really keeping a positive attitude and positive imagery. I mean, thoughts are so important to how people function and how they feel because a lot of what happens in our life is based on our belief and our attitudes. And oftentimes when I'm working with patients, if I can get them to shift their attitude to, wow, this is the only body I have, I'm going to treat it healthfully. I'm going to treat it with love. I'm already going to move into better exercise, better diet, taking care of myself. And the way you protect yourself from illness is to take care of the body and to keep it strong and to get all the nutrients it needs. Then you won't get sick very easily. I've been saying this for 40 years, really. Healthy people don't get sick very often. And by healthy, that means your, your cells are working well, you're getting all the nutrients in, you're not getting a lot of toxins that are undermining your health. Uh, you're staying fit, you're sleeping well. When you have that kind of health and vitality, you're able to protect yourself from most disease. Now, you can have two people with the same diagnosis and similar symptoms, uh, same age group, and they might be treated differently. I mean, they might, would have maybe different foods that they react to. They might need different supplements. They might need different mind-body kind of balancing. One may be really stressed. The other may be sleeping poorly. So, they'll, you know, they're, everybody's got different subtle symptoms. So, yeah, you, you want to really look at that whole thing. That's part of the holism of medicine is to really look at all the dimensions of that human and see, you know, what can be improved. I mean, some things not easily. It's a good idea to think of food as fuel. Okay, you got your little choo-choo train, you got to chew your food, and you feed it so that it produces heat and energy to run your body. And one of the ways you run your body is if it's cold outside, you have to generate more heat, or you wear layers of clothes. And many people, women especially, get cold easily. So you need more, that's why many Chinese medicine practitioners say, you need to eat warm food, not so much cooling food. The main message is from my Staying Healthy with the Seasons book is get back to nature. Eat simply. Eat according to the seasons. Eat what's available in your locale. Grow your own food. Eat fresh from the orchards and the gardens. You know, and that's really a beginning message.